So today we are going to be talking about FC Dallas and specifically talk about the firing of Luchi Gonzalez, which yesterday it was announced that they decided to relieve their head coach after a free year in in charge of this team. And in some way, I was kind of surprised the fact that they decided to do it. I mean, I understand it has not been a great season in, in FC Dallas standards and that there's no doubt that they have un, underachieved this year. But knowing the fact that Luchi Gonzalez has been with this team even before he become the head coach of this team and being an academy head coach and have success with within this team, I didn't think that the organization would decide to let him go even with a bad season that this team is undergo. But alas, you know, as I said, that they decided to kind of let him go. And now Dallas is going to be in an interesting situation where, you know, I'll kind of maybe talk a little bit more about that once, you know, if they do get eliminated this season and I'll talk more about the moving forward series where what kind of direction is this team is going to head in are they going to still stay course of a team that has always known to basically play their their kids from their academy and a team that is known to produce very good homegrown player that that turns out to be be an absolute star in in mls before making that big big money move to europe or the fact that are they going to be heading into a different direction but you know in terms of looking at luchi gonzalez career or head coach career in in um these last couple of years with fc dallas it's all started in 2019 where he was replacing oscar Perea and current and in his first year he actually did relatively well 13 9 and 12 and have 48 points and there was definitely some question that that was maybe the year that fc dallas was going to rebuild but he was able to guide them to the playoffs albeit barely did so as they were the last team in in the Western Conference, and they unfortunately had the undubious honor of facing against the Seattle Sounders. But they really pushed the Sounders and give the Sounders all they they can handle in in that match. Uh, they they actually uh, not only come back once in that game, but came back three times in that game to force extra time. But unfortunately, you know, at the end of the day, the quality of the Seattle Sounder kind of shined, and the, they would lose that game after extra time by giving up that fourth goal and being able to come back for the fourth time. Now, in 2020, in the shortened MLS season, uh, Dallas, of course, finished with a 9-7-6 and six record, and they finished with 34 points, although, you know, in a normal season, they would have actually been fifth in the Western Conference because they have the fifth most point in, in MLS last year. But as we pretty much know, last season was anything but but normal, and because of the points per game, game total, they were knocked down to sixth place in the Western Conference in that uh, team by the name of the Colorado Rapids, which a lot of people are still, I, I don't know if they're, they're still o over this. Well, maybe they're probably the over this, but they probably are still pissed about the fact that the Rapids, you know, have by far some of the fewest points in the league, and yet they're able to get themselves into the playoffs just because of the fact that the points per game total favored them. And of course, they once again got knocked out by the Seattle Sounders. Although this time, they did make some, some progress compared to last year, where instead of getting knocked out in the first round, they got knocked out in the second round of the playoffs. And again, they really fight tooth and nail against the Seattle Sounders in that second round playoff matchup. But ultimately, they were undone by a Shane O'Neill header, and they lost that 1-1-0 one, one, no, against the Sounders. Which brings us now to 2021, and in terms of Luchi Gonzalez and his coach, and hit, hit the year that he, of course, got far, and he left FC Dallas with a 6-9-11 nine, nine record heading into this season. And currently, they only have 27 points. Now, they have scored 38 goals, which is a lot, lot considered for a team that is below the red line. But when you look at the goal, goal allow, yeah, that probably explains why they're below the red line. They have conceded 43 goals this season, by far the mo most so far, far by any, any team in the Western Conference. And they have a minus five goal differential and currently sits 11 in the Western Conference. Now, when you look at this season, you know, it was kind of a slow start for them this season. Uh, drawing nil-nil to the Colorado Rapids before losing 3-1 on the road against the Quakes. They did get a much-needed 4-1 win against the Portland Timbers. But then they drew 1-1 against their interstate rival, Houston Dynamo. And then they, of course, lost 1-0 against Minnesota. Drew 2-2 against RSL and then lost 3 nothing against the Colorado Rapids. And this is kind of when the wheels started to really go off for this Dallas team. Uh, they drew 1-1 against Minnesota, lost 2-0 uh, against LAFC. And at that point, I think they were literally at the bottom of, 
of the Western Conference, and you know that th there was there was definitely talk of me saying that yeah, looks like they're done in terms so of their season. They might be the first team that could be already out, out of playoff contention, even though we're in June. But in on June 27, they pull off one of the biggest upset of the season by winning 2-1 against the New England Revolution. Yes, it's that same same Revs team that is now supporter shield can contender heading into this year before they did true 2-2 against the vancouver whitecaps before losing 3-1 against fc dallas also this is part of the time when we discovered that ricardo pepe is actually a really good player and that he turned he as i said he is going to be a guy that i think think this offseason most likely fc dallas is going to sell him off off to europe and you know hopefully for for fc dallas sake i know in the past they have sell a lot of their players with not not much money hopefully this time they'll be different because you know ricardo pepe with the way that he's been been scoring for for this team he is at least worth five or six million dollar if not not more i like i mean he is one of the, the most hottest prospect right now now in mls and there's just no way in the world I, I can see ftc dallas did what they did in the past which is you know sell their their most talented player on, just just on pennies on the dime to a european team and yeah we'll, we'll see how that's going to go but at, at after that, you know, they of course lost 3-1 against the Galaxy, and then they lose 1-0 against the Portland Timbers before losing 2-0 against the Colorado Rapids. And again, this is kind of the time where I thought, yeah, looks like this team is pretty much much done and are already potentially in see you next season mode. But then in July 24th, this is where they started to kick off a, a stretch where they got themselves back into the playoff race. Uh, they won 4-0 against the Galaxy, uh, won 2-1 against Sporting KC, drew 1-1 against the Seattle Sounders, won 2-0 against Austin FC, and then in a big game against Sporting KC where they had a chance to climb above the red line for the first time this season, they lost to them, uh, losing 2-0 against SKC. And ever since that loss, things have started to once again become rocky for this FC Dallas team. Uh, they lost one nothing at home against Seattle, drew 2-2 against Houston on the road. Uh, they didn't win 5-3 against Austin FC, but that was really the only win that they had ever since they they were able to also beat Austin 2 nothing in August 7. Uh, they, of course, lost 3-2 against RSL, drew 1-1 against FC Dallas, or no, drew 1-1 against the San Jose Earthquakes, uh, drew 3-3 against NYCFC just last week before losing 3-2 against the Houston Dynamo, where, you know, I've, when you look at how Dallas, especially of how, how much they, they were desperate to try to get the equalizer, something tells me that they did that not just because they wanted to get an equalizer and keep themselves in a the playoff race, but I think Lucy Gonzalez was kind of fighting for his job, and ultimately that was kind of the last straw that the, this this uh, this organization decided to get to Lucy Gonzalez, and again, I'm kind of surprised because of the fact that, you know, he hasn't really done badly with this team. I mean, yes, this year it has been a huge disappointment, but I would assume that this, this organization maybe would give him uh, another year, and especially in his first two years, he actually done, done a relatively good job on a, a team that I thought it was going to be on, on rebuilding mode and trying to, to, to get get a new fresh batch of the ta talent from the this academy getting ready before once again competing to be one of the best team in the league but again this seems like it was just a major setback and maybe just a big enough setback where they might need to move on to an to another head coach and you know overall i i just think that you know you know it'll be very interesting to see where lucha gonzalez is going to end up i mean i'm assuming he'll probably get an academy head coaching job again because he was very successful with the academy and don't be surprised that you know i won't be surprised maybe he could be be a head coach of of the youth national team with with the u.s i mean you know there's been been i think some people will or there has been kind of maybe some rumors that that of course could be be the case but he is really a good good academy head coach that probably I mean when he get, does get to senior level maybe it didn't quite quite work out out as as they hope it is but again my best wishes is to tour Lucci Gonzalez and see who where exactly he he lands but going forward for Dallas you know for the rest of the season I did kind of mention in the preview it looks like they're they're in in that see you next season mode and that you know this is going to be an interesting situation of what they're going to do in the future are they going to still stick with the, their model which is bring in the these young player from the academy and hope they can 
gel in a way to to feel a competitive team or they might feel like they might have to you know they, they'll still play some of their academy kids but they might need to go go somewhere else to find some some talent in this team because you know one thing i know about mls these days is the fact that you know well well i thought the union last year did a very good job in terms of proving the fact that you can still play play kits from the academy and still be successful we're starting to get to a point where yeah you definitely also need need to make make sure you have some some good good players and some veteran play, players on your team because you know if you don't have those veteran players which you know throughout these last couple of years this has been the biggest problem for this Dallas team they have not been able to find some good good uh veteran presence and I mean there's a lot of young young talented kid coming out out of this academy but you know it seems like most of them are not not ready and I'm pretty sure sure Dallas realized that it was the reason why we haven't seen seen a lot of young young players that that has been 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 in in this this team besides uh the likes of ricardo pepe that has really blossomed for this for this team but you know overall it's going to be an interesting situation what this team is going to do in the future and that we'll see whether or not they're going to stick to their model of just just make sure promoting these these young academy kids and and play them in this team and hope that they can of course, sell them off of a profit, or maybe they need to start to follow maybe the, the, uh, some other team's model where they need to, of course, have some veteran present, or even maybe get some, spend some money, which is, you know, Dallas throughout the, the last couple of years, and really throughout their, their entire franchise history, this is not a team that is known to, to spend the cash and splash the cash to, to try to improve the team. But either way, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, smash the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of this, and let me know in the comments below do you think Dallas did the right thing by firing Luchi Gonzalez at this point in the season? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys do a like, smash that subscribe button. And yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time.